there friends nibs again out here in the garage a little bit of goofing around tonight <clears throat> and uh, I wanted to do a couple videos on some of these really cool products that I just got uh, in the mail from uh, Buckrail Customs Buckrail Custom Air Gun Accessories I can check out his website buckrailcustoms.com uh, I think put a uh, link down in the description for both his website and for his YouTube channel go over and check him out uh, I think the guy's name is Chris, I believe, uh, so who I was talking to in, through emails anyway. But uh, <clears throat> what we are going to be taking a look at is some of the products from their uh, 1322, 1377 line. And specifically in this one, we're going to be looking at these scope mounts and the, uh, the red dot. Uh, it comes as a kit. You can order it as a kit or you can just order the... Um, scope mount separately very reasonable very inexpensive uh, bolt right onto the barrel and uh, i'll show you how that works in a, in a minute or two but um so one of the other things that i got from them was the this front uh, sight block which allows this uh, suppressor to screw on and it also comes with a a little little fake uh, flash suppressor so if you wanted to use that on there as well, you could use that. But uh, this uh, suppressor is very nice, very, very much cuts down the uh, the noise. And then the other one of the other things I got was this uh, collapsible uh, stock. I like it at the full length for me. I'm not too big of a guy, but uh, big enough that uh, for the length of pull with this thing, I like to have it fully extended. But if you have some kids that you'd want to have playing with it, um, you can really choke it up and uh, this would be a great youth gun. You might have to pump it up for them. It takes a little bit of effort to pump this thing up. And then the last one uh, piece that, that I got from them, we'll be doing a separate video on, are these hand grips, which have the nice honeycomb to kind of match with the honeycomb on the suppressor. So, but uh, very nice, uh, very nicely designed products and they seem to be very sturdy, at least so far. Um, only Time will tell, but uh, just based on what I can see, they really look like they're they're well made and well designed. So let's talk about uh, what you get with the uh, the scope mount kit. So let me turn it around. It actually has them labeled with uh, 13XX for either the 1322 or the 1377. This particular one's a 1322 that I mounted it on, um, but they uh, they mount solely uh, clamp onto the barrel using a couple of uh, Allen heads there. These are 3D printed plastic, so keep in mind that when you're putting them on, you don't need to you know, torque them to 120 inch pounds or whatever. Um, they do uh, kind of justify against the air tube on the bottom here, so they will be standing straight up. <clears throat> One of the neat features, and I hope I can get it on camera here, is this the profile of these has an 11 millimeter dovetail rail for mounting uh, for mounting <coughs> uh, rimfire and uh, air rifle type uh, rings and mounts and it also down below has the profile like a weaver rail so if you wanted to mount rings or a device that had uh, weaver type mounting on it you can also use these as well so to mount the red dot, you use the three or the two pieces uh, just butted up against each other and it gives a nice solid mounting uh, position for this red dot, which is something that they actually market as well. It's called the Hawkeye. And it seems like a really nice, at least for an air gun, a really nice red dot. It, it does red and green uh, illumination. And it also has a switch on the back here that allows for just a solid dot or a circle or a crosshair or the fourth position is a combination of all of those together. At least for shooting out here in the garage, I just like the dot. So uh, I'll try the other ones out when I get outside. Maybe the circle will be a little bit nicer for a little bit longer range. But before I get to doing some shooting, one of the other things you can do is if you actually wanted to mount a scope on there is you would have this front one out a little bit farther so that you would have 
your scope rings sitting on one on each of the the pieces so you could actually mount a small scope on there this is this one's a little bit larger than I think I would probably want to mount on here but uh, so there you go that is their uh, ring uh, or scope mount uh, kit I don't remember the exact cost um, I know that without the red dot I believe it's under $20 um, and I don't remember what the cost was you have to go to his website like I said I've got the link down below you can go and check out his website uh, I would encourage you guys to uh, he's a veteran owned company and uh, <clears throat> he donated all this stuff to my channel to review for you guys so show him some love and uh, go over there and buy some of his stuff so it's really cool stuff one thing else I kind of noticed and I'm gonna try it out I'm not gonna try it in this video but uh, I've got these older Crossmans and uh, they have a very similar uh, barrel arrangement and uh, I may take these rings and try to see if I can just mount a scope up on one of these old Crossmen. This one's a model 147, the 177 version of the model 140. <clears throat> and also, I, this is a model 100, very similar barrel arrangement as well. So you could probably, if you wanted to try to mount a scope on one of these old timers, you could use them for that as well, I would think. Uh, doesn't list it in his website as being uh, what they want to do, but let's go ahead and do a little bit of shooting and see how it uh, shoots. I have it on the, uh, the red dot right now. Uh, I zeroed this uh, yesterday and it was shooting good. I posted a picture up on my community tab of it. Uh, I shot five shots into one hole just across the garage here obviously but it's still uh, this uh, 1322 as a pistol was an amazing shooter so I don't imagine it'll be much different uh, as a little carbine unit here but The suppressor is really something that the, the it makes more noise the pellet hitting the paper across the target across the garage here than the actual report from the gun Ooh, that was a flinch by me <clears throat> still a, still in the 10 ring Sure, now that I'm on camera, <laughs> I shot uh, I shot several groups with this with several different pellets, and every one of them was going right in the same hole. But it's it's still shooting good. I just I like shooting one hole groups. <laughs> All right, yeah, kept them all in the 10. That's what all, all it counts, right? <laughs> but anyway, there you go. I'll keep it short short and sweet for you guys. But uh, there are the buck rail uh, scope mounts and buck rail red dot. Let me turn this off. It's, I like it because it uses a uh, what's it, the CR. Oh, now I can't remember. It was... It's a standard uh, CR. Oh boy, having a gray hair moment. Stand by. It's really easy to change out too. So <laughs> some of these red dots are uh, 
CR2032. I don't know why I couldn't remember that. I use those batteries at my work all the time. But uh, CR2032, um, very inexpensive battery, that which is really nice. Um, I don't know how long it'll last. I've only been shooting it for a couple days, but uh, so far it's uh, holding up pretty good. Should we turn it off when we're done shooting though? But anyway, go over and check out uh, Buckrail Customs. Hope you like my video. If you do, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell. You'll be notified when I do post up new videos. Till next time, have a great day.